Growing up in the 80s, I've been thinking about it lately. Was a lot that I missed. I was a star upon a wish, you know. Excuse me, really quickly, um, you actually just walked past me, you look really good. I just thought I would say hi to you. Oh, It's thanks. really random. But, um, yeah, your dress was really eye-catching. Oh, thank you. Yeah, what, what's your name? Laura. Oh, Ed, nice to meet you. Nice. I was actually expecting you to be like Russian or something. No, I get you, that. You sound, um, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Your accent is still a bit um, unique. Where are you from? Where do you think? Does my accent not give it away? <laughs> I'm from here. From here. Actually, one of those rare people that's actually from here, like uh, born and bred. And do you just stand here and chat to girls? This is exactly my whole life story. How do you know so much about me? This is weird. I feel I feel like you've been stalking me or something. No. Um, no. I was going to meet my friend here, and you walked past me. Okay. So what are you doing? I want to meet my friends. Okay. I don't know where they are. It's a big park. You should probably figure that out. Like they're waving, but I don't know. Oh, they're waving. <laughs> That's awkward. Yeah. Um, okay, so what, what what brings you to London, anyways? Work. Oh, you work here, yeah? yeah. Doing what? What are you doing with your cameras? I'm doing a bit of uh, photography stuff. Yeah. I like to do a bit of photography. What do, what do you do in uh, London though? I'm an engineer. Okay. That's quite a uh, technical job. Yeah. I wasn't expecting that from you. You're giving me quite like creative vibes. Yeah, I thought you'd be doing well. something like quite artistic. I'm also creative. Are you? Yeah, I need to find these girls. Got money here. Don't worry, there's plenty of time. <laughs> I'm sure you'll find them. Do you have, do you have internet you sound, on your... You sound very scripted. Me? Yeah. Why? You, you sound very uh, cynical, skeptical actually. Yeah, I am. Because Why? I, I met a guy in London once and he was all... He was like... Uh, it was like the whole... We had this moment and... Uh, I was on the phone with my friend and I was like, there's this super hot guy. But anyway, he was way ahead of me and then he like bent down to tie his shoelace. Oh, okay. And then we caught up and we we're walking along. Did you bump then, into him when that happened? No, no, no. Okay, that would, then, that would have been awkward. And then he look, he went like across the road and I was like way down there and I just looked back and then he was stood there looking at me. Mm. And I was like, oh God. But you were looking at him as well, Yeah, right? we were both looking at each other and there was okay. this moment, this yeah. connection, we the other side of the road, quite far, like a few hundred meters. And then I kept walking and yeah. then I like, he ran up behind me okay. and he's like, oh, I just had to speak to you. Like, no, but I mean, I, I, I rate him for that. Um, yeah, so, so did I. But it turned out he's a con man. Oh, why was he like a twin Tinder swindler guy or something? I don't know, he gave me that vibe anyway. Okay. I can never be sure, but... I'm, I'm, I would admit... He, like, he went out for dinner, uh, we went out for lunch like, afterwards and he expected me to pay. I was like... Oh. He probably was actually. That's like a low budget version of the Tinder Swindler, yeah, like, I think. Yeah, yeah. He was yeah. like trying to use you to buy free yeah, stuff. I think so. um, sometimes that happens the other way around. Like I've had that experience in my life where I've taken no. girls out and they only wanted like a free meal. Oh, it's not and nice. that yeah, that was a bit annoying. I, that's, that's my that's my rule. I let the guy pay if I definitely am gonna see him again. Mm. But if I'm not interested, it has to be split the bill. Okay. I'll take a note of that for um, <laughs> if, if we if this ever happens, uh, if I ever manage uh, this uh, to, you know to get you out or something. I'll, I'll take a note. Um, okay, but um, yeah, you know no, but you, you're. Do you know what? I don't know these girls. I'm meeting them. From, like, I met this girl on Bumble BFF last night. Really? Yeah. Is that what you're doing? Yeah, but no, this is not. The, this is not the girl. I, I know what. I think I know what that is. Is that is that like the friend version? Yeah, yeah. yeah oh, okay. So I met her, and it was awesome. We went to Ciroc dance class. It was super nice. And for, like, we got on amazing. Me and yeah. this girl. And then um, she said, oh, I'm meeting all these other girls tomorrow okay. uh, at the park for a picnic. Do you want to come? And I said, all okay, right. but I don't know who they are. But you know who that is, don't you? So you can yeah, find her. Yeah. I don't know. I'll text okay. her, actually. That's a good point. You, you seem like kind of s uh, skeptical, but spontaneous at the same oh, time. I am, yeah. yeah. I think I'm that's a good way to be. I'm friendly. Uh, okay. Yeah, well, you're Scottish. You kind of have to be, right? Compared know. to like, like a London. are not that friendly. Oh, yeah. You've got a bit of grit as well, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. If I get on the wrong side of you, I'm going to probably expect to get slapped or something. <laughs> so I better be on my best behaviour. So what, what are you doing today? So I'm meeting a friend. I was doing some street photography stuff and doing it like in the yeah, park as well. But um, I'm finishing up now. I'm going to meet up with my friends. Maybe watch the football or something. Who's but, yeah. on the football? I saw lots of people. Chelsea, Liverpool. It's a big match. I, no, I had uh, Rangers yeah. supporters. Rangers? This is England. <laughs> you're, you're... There was loads of Rangers supporters. Oh, oh okay. Around. Maybe. I don't know. I, I, don't I saw know. Liverpool as well. Are you going to uh, help me find them? Uh, I actually need to meet my friends, but I wouldn't mind... Um, Meeting up with you another time if you want. Like if you're, my yeah, yeah, that's what I was gonna. I was gonna lead up to that, but yeah. you kind of, you beat me to it. But um, why not?
Um, but you are actually quite friendly. I, was, I wasn't expecting that. I know, I wasn't expecting you to be that. But when you said you were Scottish, I was thinking, oh, she's, up, she's from up north, so maybe she'll be a little bit more um, friendly then. What's your name? Oh, Ed. You did say Bob. Well. Yeah. Like, loads of Laura's. I don't know. Do I? <laughs> Yeah. Okay. I don't know how to get rid of They're all from uh, the past. Don't worry about that. Oh Jesus, what's that supposed to mean? I don't know. I've met a lot of Laura's. I'm probably Jeez, older no. I'm, probably, I'm probably older than you think. How old are you? How old do you think I am? Yeah. I'm about 40, 41. No, I'm just joking. I'm 32. What about you? What? 28. 28. Oh that's not too bad. It's similar. You actually look quite young. I was thinking maybe you'd be like 23 or something. I look younger without makeup on, actually. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm very ginger, so... So that's what I'm... you're doing now, then? Not wearing much makeup? Yeah. No, I'm wearing lots of makeup. Are you? Well, why do you look not so much, young, then? Not like, a little bit. Mm. But I'm very ginger, so like, I look paler. I need to find these girls, though. But I don't know... Use um, Google Maps. Set, ask them for sending the location. Well, did, but I don't know how accurate that is. Uh, I don't know. I've, I've... Look. Oh, there's a fountain. Well, they expect you to like pinpoint from just like oh the fountain. Oh no, that's that's that, isn't it? Oh no, that's that. So they're must... probably like here somewhere. Oh, they must be one of the I'll send you a text. Um, yeah, she's got a blue dress. I'll find them. Just I'll walk around. Them. Just walk around a bit. Aimlessly. Yeah, I'm sure you'll find them anyway. Um, it was nice to meet you. I'll send you a text, nice and to then meet. Um, yeah, who knows? Nice Bye. to meet you. Bye. Bye. So I approached this uh, Scottish girl in a park in London and um, yeah, she's pretty friendly and open and receptive, which is quite nice. Uh, generally, I find like British girls, like when they're more up north, you know, originally from up north, they tend to be a bit more friendly, a bit more open, uh, which is ideal for doing this kind of thing, really. It, generally speaking, it is usually like the southerners or the people from down south in the, in the in the area which are just a bit more sort of closed off and sometimes you know there's nothing you can do they're just not receptive to cold approach and, and that's fine um but yeah uh yeah she she was nice she was friendly i mean she was a bit kind of uh cynical and a bit skeptical you know she gave me a shit test fairly early on in the conversation uh, by asking me so do you just stand here all the time just speaking to girls um, but that's actually a good thing. It's, it's always a good thing actually when a girl uh, does a shit test like that on you Because um, the way I see it, you know, if she was not interested, she wouldn't bother doing that If she was slightly interested, you know, that's when she would, that's why she would do it um, So yeah, I, I always see it as a good thing and, and also, you know, you want a bit of tension in the conversation You know, you don't want it just to be completely smooth sailing and just like uh, just a bit vanilla, just exchanging information, uh, and you know, just nice pleasantries all the time. You know, I've seen it with guys where they have those kinds of conversations and they're thinking it's going well, and then they're wondering why the girl's flaking on them in the end. It's like, you know, you want a bit of tension, you want a bit of chaos uh, in the conversation, because that's actually what builds excitement, that's what builds uh, sexual tension, and obviously it's got to be subtle in the daytime, it can't be too full on. And it's got to be, yeah, subtle because you're obviously meeting a new person for the first time as well. So it's got to be um, low key. Um, but yeah, again, she's um, there was other moments as well where uh, she's a little bit kind of, uh, you know, pointing things out and like being a bit kind of skeptical. Yeah, she says like, uh, you sound a bit scripted, which is like, again, maybe a bit of a shit test. I don't know. Um, and then I just call it out. You'd be like, yeah, you seem quite skeptical, quite cynical. And then she actually reveals to me that she's had a past experience where a guy's come up to her in public and it ended up being slightly weird. So that's where she's coming from. And that's actually really, really interesting, actually, because a lot of the reasons why sometimes girls can be a bit dismissive or even just generally like unreceptive to cold approach is because they've had a bad experience in the past. And so therefore, you know, they're not as open to, to similar kinds of experiences in the future. And that's something that a lot of guys forget about, you know. Um, if, you know, if a, if a girl blows you out and rejects you really, really early on, even if she's single and even if she potentially could find you attractive, it might be because she's had a bad experience in the past and she's just kind of projecting that as a kind of like an automatic defense mechanism. Uh, so that's just worth kind of bearing in mind. And, you know, sometimes there's nothing you can do about that. You can only just present yourself in the, uh, in the best possible way. Um, and, and the rest is just down to luck, you know. Don't even bother worrying about the rest. Just put your best foot forward and then the rest is just whatever. Whatever happens, happens. Um, so, yeah. So, yeah, that, that's basically um, all there is to this one, really. Uh, she, she, it was funny at the end, she saw like on my phone a bunch of uh, Laura's, which uh, <laughs> which was kind of funny actually. Um, 
Yes, it's a bit difficult to recover from that actually because she she's not stupid. Obviously, she knows I do this all the time. If I've got like loads of other lawyers on the phone, uh, there, there's no like thing you can just say and then automatically she's like, oh, okay, oh fine, okay. She, you know, she's not stupid. Um, and, and actually, a lot of the time, you know, if you're an advanced guy doing day games, girl, you know, girls will realise that you're doing it a lot of the time anyway. And sometimes there's just nothing you can do about it. You know, girls are very, very intuitive socially, so they they'll know that. Um, yeah, you're, you're doing it a lot. Um, but that's just how it is, you know. You win some, you lose some. But uh, yeah, um, in the end, yeah, you just have to try your best and then just whatever happens, happens, basically. Cheers for watching. If you'd be interested in one-to-one -one coaching with me where we'll go out in public and work on your approach at girls or more generally with your social confidence, please visit my website, ed-game.com.